How we all get along today? I often ponder living in a simpler time and how things might have been, and I know one thing for sure. In the past, things may have been simpler, but they sure the heck weren't easier. Today, we've got flip a switch and alternating current comes through the lines and pretty much powers anything around the farm you need to power. And got a piece of equipment that's all self-driven. You know, that was a, a novelty back in the day. They didn't have that. So, our forefathers, in the ingenuity that they had, you know, came up with different ways of powering things. These small gas engines hit and miss. You know, this is actually a governed engine, but uh, they were pretty much the lifeblood of the farm. You know, sure made life easier. They came standard on a lot of equipment, or you purchased them separately and just had them on a cart and moved them from piece of equipment to piece of equipment. What we got here today is a Fairbanks Model Z uh, self-oiling. This is a later one, uh, probably in the 40s, early 40s. These were made from like 1914 uh, up into you know, right about World War II. If I believe right, there was uh, like a half a million of these things made. So a lot of them out there floating around, but a lot of them, you know, went shit, got left. When electricity came in, they got shoved off behind the barn. They are water-cooled. Uh, I think they hold about two and a half gallons of water. Uh, I think a lot of them got left without the cap on them. This one doesn't have the cap on the water reservoir, so it's easy to get rain and what have you in there and drain hole plug up and, you know, crack and bust the block on it. Cylinder get moisture in it with the stack uncovered. You know, a lot of them are damaged. I was lucky enough to pick this one up, and it was already in its running state. But uh, that's still fun to play with. And, uh, you know, a chrome stack there gives it a couple extra horsepower. So this is a Model Z style C3 horse. Um, they'll run on about anything. Uh, the carburetor has provision to start on gasoline, and then you can switch it over to diesel or kerosene. Um, I've never tried that. I just run this one on gasoline only, so I only use the one side of the carburetor. But if you were such inclined to, you would put your gasoline in there to start her up. You'd shut your throttle down over here, open this end up. To get the fuel flowing, you uh, rotate these counter, or no, clockwise. You rotate these clockwise. So you roll her over a couple times and you stick your hand over the end of the carburetor there to give her a little choke. Roll her over just a couple of times. You don't want to flood it. Um, this one's already been started up this morning, but so it ought to be relatively easy to start. But I think they sound cool and hope you do too. You know, if you like things like this, like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Makes me smile. Let's see if we can get this old girl started. Give her about eight to a quarter of a turn out. Oh, she's gonna be cantankerous. Well, let's give her a little more petrol. About got me there. Can you imagine listening to that day in and day out? I don't think there's a more pleasant sound on this earth than when these little motors just burn away. Well, I'm not gonna let it run too long. I don't have any water in her as winter's coming up, but I just want to play with it one last time. Y'all have a good Sunday. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you think it's at least interesting. Thank y'all.